Whoa, 83% of you watching right now aren't subscribed. I'd be really grateful if you did. What is up people, Tensa Ear, and today I'm back with a United Storm Wind Wild video. And today I am making a video on a deck I never thought I would in Odd Druid. Believe it or not, the Odd Hero Power works really well with the Druid Quest, so that is what we're trying out today. It's the same strategy as regular Quest Druid, but that Odd Hero Power gives you some more consistency and a little bit more oomph that we like to see. Also, I moved. I'm back in a dorm. I don't have a green screen set up right now, but I will be setting that up soon. But for now, you can see my background for a little bit. Let me know if you like that, because maybe we can just roll with that instead of the green screen. But we'll see. Without further ado, let's get into those games. How's it going, Nemsi? I always feel kind of bad as somebody in Legend who's like <laughs> playing against people in Diamond 1 because I don't really gain anything from being <laughs> from winning this game, but they, it means a lot to them. But we have a video to record, people. Greetings. So I really don't. I really don't know where to put the Quest Druid matchup because, like, I used to think that it was really in the Quest Druid's favor. Um, the Quest Warlock matchup. Yeah, I used to think that it was really in the Quest Druid's favor, but they've added so much stuff recently that I think makes it. Oh, that's tempting. You know what? That changes. So, yeah. Next turn, we're going to secure the deck and hero power. Um, But they've added so much stuff to shore up the match. Like, stuff like Dirty Rat. And we still have, like, spell stones to deal with stuff like Dirty Rat. But they just have, they have better ways to deal with stuff than they used to. Believe it or not. <laughs> the longer a deck has been alive, the more it gets uh, fleshed out. But our hand is looking pretty solid, so I'm not too worried. I might try for uh, I might try for the resizing pouch, uh, pounce draw, though it hasn't worked for me in the past. <laughs> but there's a possibility. Oh, how's it going, Dark Lair? Instead of resizing pouch, we should probably just kill the Dark Lair. Unless they get like a ton of their quest done. But, I don't know. I guess they could. What do you got? Okay. Cool. I'm gonna... Do we save the spell stone? You know what? This savagery can get a lot bigger than our spell stone. So I think I'm gonna still drop the spell stone on... Mr. Dark Lair here. Cool. <laughs> My hand kind of slipped there and I was afraid that <laughs> that I accidentally attacked the Crystallizer. Cool. And if we want to next turn, we can kind of go like all out with our claws. We can, yeah, we can hero power and then play all of our claws and complete quests. Be pretty good. Backfire. Classic. Yeah, it would be... I'm surprised that they played the Dark Lair without a raised dead. Um, but... Looks like they're chilling. Unless they have one. It would line up pretty well for them. Okay, it looks like... Looks like they don't. We could also just play those and comp no, we don't want it. We don't get where we want to be if we do that. Cool. And then let's finish our quest. Cool. Boom. And they have quite a bit of damage yet to deal. And we have savagery to get through like dirty rats and stuff if they're playing those. I'm feeling pretty good. It seems like 
a lot of these lists have gone off of playing the homuncul the the two four with taunt and just playing dirty rats um if they just have one and not the other then i think we're really happy uh because we do have the way to get through it oh and this cor this guff corrupts both of our amulets it doesn't matter too much because it doesn't get more attack but that is very nice very nice who do they have raised dead ultimately that benefits us a lot that they're doing that actually i think that that means they're dead that they did that unless they have like um some other ways to gain life back but if they're just playing that crystallizer they just um yeah they're done though It was a cool play, though. Hiya! Let's see if we can get Pounce. Can we get Pounce? No! We can do this, though. Boom. Well played opponent. I feel kind of bad just keeping them out of Legend, but it's okay. We're the gatekeepers. They <laughs> they gotta get through us. <laughs> How's it going, Taronda? So I'm expecting this to be Shadow Priest, and this is actually... I'm gonna even drop the... Do I drop the Savagery? You know what, it'd be really nice to, to clip... Uh, I mean, we just have nothing else in our hand. But we have a couple draws, since we're playing Quest on turn one, and here Powering on turn two. Um, It'd be really nice to clip a... Uh, Ship's cannon or something with that. Greetings. Yep. Yeah. Um, this is like one of the few bad matchups for Shadow Priest. I think it's definitely not unwinnable, but I think that Quest Root is a pretty tough matchup. Just because of how much armor you can gain. What do they got to show us? Okay. Oh, that's, that's tough opponent. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't like to see that. A no Burgan, no patches pirate on turn one. I don't think we have to worry too much about ship's cannon then, but um, we still have the savagery if we need it. You never know. Yeah, I think this uh, slower start from them is going to be really helpful for us. Okay. And I am going to go ahead. I don't think I'm going to play that. We're just going to go ahead and complete quests like that. And then like that. We're just going to keep hitting them in the face. I don't give a crap about your creatures, Peter Rotten. <laughs> That's an awesome username. I don't know what it is, though. I don't know. Maybe it's a, a series I don't know about. Okay. That honestly, probably helps us more than it helps them. Though I will say their board is pretty getting pretty big, and we don't have a way to deal with it. They're one Void Touch to 10 away from a lot of freaking damage. So I'm going to go ahead and just take some armor then. Feral Rage, that's nice. I'm going to play this, see if we get it. Ooh. Both of those are really tempting. Uh, I think we have to take the amulet. I'm just going to keep going face. Yeah. Next turn, we handily complete quest, and they're probably about dead. Even if they have a attendant here. Oh. That maybe wasn't... Now if they touch a tenant, they can't play it. Okay. They broke through our armor, but we're about to gain a lot more. Cool. Um, it doesn't matter the order that we play these in. Cool. 
cool. And now next turn we get Guff, and I don't think there's anything they can do about it. <laughs> well played upon it. <laughs> Sweet. What's going on, Gildan? Yours is the only way. Okay, flex. <laughs> Speaker Gurdra, I don't know how useful that would be. We'll see. I've actually never played with this card before. Greetings. Oh, I just love how pretty that looks, especially when it's golden. So I'm assuming this is Quest Warlock, right? Don't make me look silly, please be Quest. Okay. <laughs> Spellstone. That might actually, that could be helpful. It would be nice. Um. Next turn, I. It'd be nice if I could get uh, a claw. I'd like a claw here, um, so I didn't have to waste some attack on my quest. The question is, is it worth it to just play one of these, or do I just hear a power and, and take the L? Um. Eh, I think I'll probably just hero power. It still completes quests the same. Cool. Cool. We're a little bit off now on our curve because next turn we're going to be playing a three cost card, but should be fine. The unfortunate, unfortunate thing about playing odd is you don't really have a good way to corrupt this guy anymore. Unless uh, you have like your resizing pouch. They haven't done much yet, which is cool. Okay, so they have Rod. I've seen a lot of this version. It's very interesting and really scary. I think we're just going to go ahead and take the attack here. Yeah, this is scary. I love this animation though, of like filling up on the one, two, three, four. Okay. They complete. That's not good to see. Hopefully they do some more damage to themselves. Cool. That's actually okay. That's actually really good for us. Because now we're going to get a... <laughs> now we're going to get to do two damage with this. Oh, unless they kill it. That would really suck, opponent. Please don't do that. No! Well played. I got so excited. I was like, do we even have lethal with that? That would have been really close to lethal, actually. Ah. Their hand is going to be really cheap. Cool. So we're definitely... Drop this. And the question is, do we do this or do we... I think we just do this. Or do we just go for more? I think we just go for doing as much damage to them as possible, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. We do draw cards, so I guess there's a chance that we can get uh, Horde Operative. Hmm. If we use this resizing pouch, I think we get a pounce. Do we use that? How close are they? I think I will use that. Or they just don't give it to us. <laughs> well, that's not good. I guess we'll take the interface. I was hoping we'd get pounce off of that. Now we're in kind of a sticky situation. Yeah, they have got their value off this rod. So maybe I should have, instead of 
amuleting. Maybe I should have just hero powered and passed. And then this following turn we could have hero powered and amulated and completed and got guff. I just kind of wanted to pressure them since they're getting towards the end of the quest where they have to do a bunch of damage and don't get the life back. And that final step. But if we're being realistic, they probably have crystallizers. Crystallizers. We haven't gained that much armor yet. Another touch. Okay. Yeah, they're at a full 17 still, so they're they're living. Cool. Yeah, if they just have their one. Oh, geez. <laughs> well, they're out of time. We get them to burn a card. Probably not worth it though, is it? Let me go ahead and do it like this. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it making them burn a card. They could very well play Tamps in this turn, which would really stink. What do they got? Plague of Flames, okay. That's just gonna clutter up their hand. Yeah, they're gonna overdraw a ton, aren't they? They're gonna overdraw one. Okay, there's one Crystallizer. Another rod. Okay. I'll take armor. I love armor. It'd be really cool to get Guff here. He's dead. They've had a lot of these die. I don't know how many... I mean, I guess they've also had... A fair amount of crap. Um, yeah, I guess we could just do this. We can also make them overdraw two if we naturalize. Oh, wait, even more if we naturalize that. So we'll do that. Cool. <laughs> There's another crystallizer. <laughs> So yeah, they have to get there by dealing damage themselves. The old-fashioned way. Though I'm pretty sure they're just going to draw us into fatigue. Um, so, probably doesn't matter. That won't necessarily matter if, um, if we got this savagery. So do they just spend the rest of their turn playing Tamsin? If they do just a little bit more damage to themselves and we get the guff, then... <laughs> well played opponent. Yeah, we were just they were they had a very unfortunate job with those crystallizers How's it going Rexar? By fang and claw Actually really like this hand. I think I'm gonna keep all of it Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go a little bit a little wonky on our Splits for damage like are for getting attack I'm not also not sure how this odd hundred matchup works, but um Our splits are gonna be a little weird because we're gonna be going like two over on the first step um, And one over on the second step, but I think it should be fine if we keep drawing like we are um, the reason I'm fine with that um, so like Obviously, it's like the most ideal to get four out of four attack exactly on your first quest. But I'm fine with going over and like wasting quest steps if we're like having a good draw, a good hand, or we have uh, more gas left in our hand. Because sometimes it's more important to keep the tempo going. Sometimes it's more important. Yeah, I'm really not sure how this matchup is. Um, I think it's probably favorable for us since they don't have any taunt or anything. 
I guess technically it's better to play this Feral Rage in the case we somehow uh, corrupt this, but not too worried about it. But I guess technically that's play. Yeah, I would guess that this matchup favors us since they don't have any taunt or life gain. And we have armor and a constant source of damage. I'm not positive, but that is my guess. Cool. And we're going to go ahead and coin your power. And we haven't even fungal fortune yet. Cool. Secure the deck is pretty good. Unfortunately, next turn we can't play it. I'm just going to uh, hero power amulet and get that guff as soon as possible. And they honestly have not gotten... They must not have the, the best draw. Ooh, that could actually mess us up, though. I think I'm still going to go for it just to complete quest, but there's a chance that this gets uh, misdirected. But usually they play Explosive Trap. But they got a secret plan, I guess. Oh, well, either way. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Maybe it'll be a snipe or something. Yeah, it was off secret plan, so it could be anything. I wonder what their draw is, if that's their first, like, the first spells they've played. Like, what are... I didn't even know that they run so <laughs> this many non... spell damage spells. Unfortunately for opponent, we are very much chilling. Is it snipe? It is not. Oh wow, okay. It is mis I didn't mean that misdirection, but it ended up being that <laughs> secret. That's not what I meant when I said is it misdirection. I'm not gonna take credit. <laughs> I meant the one that like makes you attack a creature instead. Um, like it summons a creature. That is a funny coincidence. Oh, they see the writing on the wall. <laughs> I think it was clear that one was going. Good game opponent.